All right, in this scene, we're going to talk about the tetracyclines. We're going to talk about the different types of tetracyclines, their method of action, their clinical use, and their adverse effects. Okay, so this insane scene, if you're able to experience this insane scene, you'll know just about every important fact about the tetracyclines. So let's begin with what the tetracyclines are. Here we see these posters over here. These are going to remind us of the tetracyclines. These include tetracycline, represented by tetris over here on top of the cycle. Tetris is on the cycle for tetracycline. And here there's the doctor. This guy's a doctor over here. Doctor cycling for doxycycline. And then there's the miniature cycle guy for minocycline. Tetracycline, doxycycline, and minocycline are the important tetracyclines that we want to be aware of. While we're here, we note that doxycycline over here is letting out some feces to remind us that it has a fecal route of elimination, not a renal one. And that's why doxycycline is used with patients with renal problems. Now let's talk about the mechanism of action of tetracyclines. So tetracyclines are bacteriostatic antibiotics that bind to the 30S subunit. And that's why we have this rhino over here. Here is the rhino. So what we have over here is the 30S on the floor. And we have this rhino, this T rhino, are trying to attach to it, but it won't work. He's being prevented. This reminds us that the tetracyclines bind to the 30S subunit and prevent the attachment of the amino acyl tRNA. So this rhino, this T rhino, is going to remind us of tRNA, and he can't attach to the 30S subunit. That's what tetracyclines do. They block this attachment. But let's take a look, because I think I see a brain under this room over here. Yep, I see a brain. The brain is not penetrating into the room. It's not penetrating. This reminds us that the tetracyclines have limited CNS penetration, and that's because they're water soluble. But then we note over here, someone stuck a knife through these things over here. This is going to remind us that tetracyclines should not be taken with certain things. What are these things? First we see is milk. Tetracyclines should not be taken with milk, nor with other products that have calcium, such as cheese. Nor should they be taken with products containing magnesium, such as antacids, represented by the magnifying glass. Magnifying glass for magnesium, nor should they be taken with iron-containing preparations. And all of this is true because divalent cations inhibit the drug's absorption in the gut. Okay, now let's talk about the clinical use of the tetracycline. And for that, let's take a look at the back room over here. So here we see the tennis racket for rickettsia. And this robber guy over here, we'll call him a burglar, the burglar for Borrelia burgdorferi. And he has, on top of his rifle here, a clam for chlamydia. He also has a lot of acne. Tetracyclines are actually also used in the treatment of acne and rosacea. And randomly under this robber over here, we have a picture of Michael Jordan. And he's playing basketball with the gnome. Mike playing with the gnome for mycoplasma and pneumonia. Okay, so these are the microbes which tetracyclines are used against. Doxycycline is also effective against community-acquired MRSA, actually. So for that, we'll have the doctor over here going into Mars. Okay, now, let's talk about adverse effects. And for that, we need to go outside. So here's this random guy running away from the rhino. He got really scared about the rhino. He's running over here. And we see he has GI distress by his stomach. We also see that he has discoloration of teeth. Because discoloration of teeth is another adverse effect of tetracyclines. We note that he's jumping on top of this bone that's not growing. This bone on the floor that's not growing. As an adverse effect of the tetracyclines is inhibition of bone growth in children. We see that he's closing his eyes. He's very sensitive to the light over here. There's light and he's very sensitive. He's closing his eyes. He's photosensitive. Photosensitivity is another adverse effect. And he's giving birth to this baby who's uh, not doing so well. To remind us that tetracyclines are contraindicated in pregnancy. They're also not recommended for children under the ages of eight. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video on the tetracyclines. Stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.